What's going on guys? Another day. Another day to get better. Now, I was just, it's a Saturday, and I was watching Baki. Continued watching the anime Baki while eating my first two meals. Didn't, didn't have to puke or hurl this time. Everything's feeling great, but fuck that anime. It's just, it's got me so invested right now. It was just like, for a while, you know, it was just another fight and another fight between two different people. But now, finally, you know, uh, it's back to Baki. And, you know, I'm just looking so forward to seeing more of, uh, what's his name? Yujiro Hanma, his father. Like, it's just, it seems so interesting to me. And I just keep thinking about it throughout the whole day. It's so awesome. Fuck. Um, so, yeah. It's got me pumped up for the gym, you know, I gotta say. It's got me really pumped up. But, uh, yeah, today is a big day in training. I'm gonna be going for... I'm gonna be going for... A push press, and then a close grip bench. Now, on the close grip bench, the program says 140 kilograms for either four to six reps, but don't grind it out like all out, um, you know, uh, the last rep, you know, it doesn't have to be until, you know, total failure, um, quit before that happens. So that's exciting. But uh, yeah, it's just three blue plate plates, three blue plates. It's such a, it's, I don't know, it's just so beautiful. That it's like, once you get to three blue plates on the bench, I feel like then, you know, it's starting to get, you know, serious in, in a way. I remember the first time I benched three blues or 140 kilograms and I felt like fuck you know I've only seen guys do that and it's so awesome but yeah I gotta get up to four blues you know that's the next step. Um, so yeah the push press I think is gonna be 110 kilograms for like I think three or five sets of two reps if I remember correctly I gotta check out the program and then the close grip bench. Now it's one, 120 121 in the afternoon. Hope there's some guys there in the gym. We'll see my fellows, my friends. Oh dear, there's a bus here. Why is he on that lane? Fuck. Well, yeah. And it's, you know, what date is it? It's the 24th. 24th of February. It's uh, 10 months till Christmas. <laughs> uh, and yeah, the Arnold Strongman Classic in Columbus, Ohio, the main one that the only one people talk about really, you know, people don't really talk much about the other Arnolds, at least I haven't heard much of it, but I'm excited. I you know I want to throw a watch party again, you know, bring, you know, invite some of the guys over and watch it together, but it's oh, like it's over such a long time, you know, it's, you know, uh, one event, then a two-hour wait, and then one event, and then, you know, the next day, it's also, again, you know, just, it's a, it's not like a Giants live show where you could just meet for three to four hours. You're going to have to meet for, like, probably eight or nine hours, I think, probably. But we'll see who's up to it. Um, and if I can, I don't know if my girl has to study or what, um, so I'll have to also have converse with her about that. But that's going to be interesting. And my predictions, you know, of course, I know one of the competitors going, Hauthor. He looks in good shape. And I met him just a couple of days ago while I was training. And it was like, he's back to that. I could feel that uh, competitive side back, like that extremely competitive side. Sort of just focus and, you know... It's sort of he knows that he he knows that he is the man, you know, sort of feeling that he's sort of vibe that he brings with him when he's in these close to competition states. It's uh, and he doesn't have to say it; you can just see it on him somehow. It's incredible to to see and uh, sometimes intimidating, honestly. But uh, it's really cool, really cool to see how the best do it, like up front. I, I think there's probably a lot of guys out there who would kill to have this uh, opportunity to, you know, uh, continuously watch one of the greatest of all time do his thing, you know, um, yeah, so that's pretty cool, 
but I'm excited. I'm really excited. And also another thing, my nutrition coach just increased the calories for me. It's now I'm just going to be eating 7,200 something calories a day. You know, and we're still 13, like four, almost 14 weeks out. I think today would be exactly 14 weeks out from the strongest man in Iceland. You know, what, what am I going to be doing, you know, what am I going to be eating daily when it gets closer to competition? That's... <laughs> Like, am I gonna be around like nine or ten thousand calories a day? You know what? Yeah, Jesus. But that's cool. I'm looking forward to getting stronger, eating more, getting heavier, and uh, yeah, showing good results. But uh, yeah, Ooh, what? That's a Ukrainian car in front of me with a Ukrainian license plate. Some Ukrainians are like shipping their cars over here. That's cool. Really cool. Well, I'll see you guys in the gym. Without further ado. <sighs> All right. We're in the gym, Jagabol. About to start the first exercise, like I mentioned. 110 kilogram push press for two reps. I gotta check how many sets it is. But yeah, on here we have 110. I mean, uh, yeah, warm-ups felt great, technique feels always getting polished better and better, so let's get into it, let's put the mic away, let's not destroy it, maybe let's just, Yeah, feels good. It's strange. Well, we started fucking a little bit up, but I'm so used to now training with my earphones in. It sort of helps me get focused and primed before a lift. So I think I gotta put those in before the next sets. Second set. We're doing five sets. So let's go. Let's go. I don't understand why I always return it this unbalanced, like not in the middle point here. But when I pick it up, it's in the middle. Strange. But something's not clicking. It's just not like not like last week. But uh, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. That is true. So to avoid this flexor, nice dip, maintain slightly. <coughs> You know, but we remain vertical, but if you feel like you need, slightly bend yourself backwards. If you feel like you need. Mm -hmm. Because the weight is light, you can test it out. <clears throat> One dead man, so you're nothing. Big 
Комок прибить. Yeah. It definitely helps trying to not go forward and go a little bit backwards. Thanks, man. Yeah, that definitely felt better. Oh. But my, it always puts a little bit more effort on my right knee than the left. And you've dealt with this too, right? Yeah. Well, I'm lucky when it comes to this, my coach, all of all, prescribes me all of these three half one exercises, you know, single leg squats. Oh. All kinds of that shit to make sure, you know, everything's in the right place. But I still feel sometimes some pain. But when you push press it, right? To avoid that snappy spot, try to be not like this. Imagine you're standing like a first time squat. Yeah, I've up in, or in the dumbbell, like that's all. Try to point the toes out a little bit, because then, you look, when you're here, the knees doesn't go into an alignment. When you're here, everything aligns. Wait a minute, so it's like this? Or yeah, just maybe try to uh, have your toes pointed outwards more. A little more, like this. Just, just try to test it out, literally, with no way. If you go fast down, do you feel sharp pain or not? Not sharp pain, just a little bit. Discomfort, pr yeah. Pressure. Pressure. Yeah. Just try to play, uh, play with the foot positioning. Less here, a little bit. Because I found now, the narrower I stand, the better I feel. Because if mm -hmm. you stand so wide, yeah. then now when I bring it, my stance a little bit, and try to put more into the quads instead of hips, if you uh -huh. So, you just need to test with yourself. Interesting. Very oh, interesting. Yeah. Always learning. Oh, yes, I never any process. Okay, guys, going into the final set of the push press. The fifth set. Two reps with 110 kilograms. Really got to focus on that. Jumping backwards. And I feel like, because this is the last set, I gotta put a lot more into it. I gotta totally explode and do it well. Let's go. This one definitely felt the best, personal to me, or like, like I was controlling the weight more than the weight controlling me, in a way. So that's good. Let's jump into the close grip bench. All right, guys, it's time for the close grip bench press. Warmed up with 100, one, then 130 for one. Now we're up to 140 kilograms. I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous, you know. It's four to six reps, ideally five, but no like grinding out to, com to complete failure. Oh yeah, it's time to go. Whew. Let's go, let's fucking go. This is easy weight for a lot of guys. Easy weight, I need to toy with this. Let's go. Very good. Four, come on. One more. Come on. That was tempting to do one more. I thought you were gonna do it. Yeah, I was thinking I'm like, I could have done it, fuck. Well, it's good to have things in reserve. It's very good. It's still, for sure, the personal best. Yeah, especially in close grip. Yeah. And yeah, it's just, fuck. 
happy with that shit. I was so nervous before, like I was gonna, because every time in the past when I went heavy, and when I did the wider grip, when I was lowering down the weight for the first, it just, there was so much inflammation that it just like, I lost the tension and it would go down. But now when I've moved to more of a close grip, I just get, I can keep tension without pain in the elbows and just wrap that thing out. Fuck, that's good. That's a, that's a confidence booster for sure in this thing. Yeah, now we're backing down off to 125 kilograms for thing two sets of five reps. So yeah, 140 for five. Could have done six, but whatever. Good to have things in the tank. This isn't bodybuilding. All right, time for the back down sets. 125 kilograms for five reps. Can't slack off though. You know, this is still weight. Can't treat it. Can't disrespect it in a way. Whew, let's go. So crazy, you know, that I see all these baby strong men and powerlifters. Well, like I feel I'm equal to or even stronger than in things like, you know, deadlift and various other exercises. But then I see them benching heavier numbers than me easily. They're, you know, 140 isn't even a warm up for a lot of guys. And I'm just like, what the hell, you know, you know. It's just, yeah, an exercise that doesn't, yeah, come natural to me, but maybe that's gonna change. Maybe that's gonna, I'm gonna be a good bencher one day, considered on a you know, normal strongman standard. Maybe like, I feel like, like normal for strongman would be at least like 200 kilograms for five reps or something around that. Let's keep going. One more set of this. Settle this. <clears throat> All right. Last set of the bench. 100 again. Saying again. 125 kilograms for five reps. I like the jump of the I started with that. Let's go. Let's respect the weight. Uh, this fucking wrist strap is always coming loose. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> All right. Good shit. Close grip bench. Listo. El ultimo seto. Now, it's time for shoulder press. Uh, dumbbell shoulder press. With back support now. We're getting treated here. Do some back support. All right, so we're going into the uh, dumbbell shoulder press with back support. 40 kilograms for 10 reps. Now, if you remember 
Last week, I tried doing this with no back support, only minutes five reps or so, and uh, but that was with no back support. So, cheers. I'm excited to see the difference in it with a little bit of support to the back. <laughs> oh, let's go. 10 reps. And yeah, 40 kilograms if I haven't said already. Let's go. Wow, that was easy. Damn, you were right. It's a big difference. Big difference with, with and without this guy here. Cool. Let's keep going. I think it's two or three sets of this. All right, guys. Second set. Coach wants me to lock out the weights a bit better. So that's what we're gonna do all the way to the top. Good lockout. Let's go. 10 reps. One more, one more. Nope. Energy's gone. Nine reps. Whatever. I think I maybe shouldn't have breathed for each rep. Because normally I use, use, lose power that way. But whatever. It was a clean and good working set. Let's keep going. We still got things to do. Oh, you've seen me do this before. Bent over dumbbell raises. I'm strange to call it a PR in this moment, but I'm gonna attempt 15 kilograms now, from 12 to 15 reps. Let's go. Let's get some shoulder health in. Jesus. Yeah. That is heavier than usual, but still good. I think I might move to 12.5 kilograms just to get a better squeeze on the next set. Tackle both. Oh, good stuff. Lowered it down to 2.5 just to get, like I said, a bit of a better squeeze at the top. Let's go. Yeah. 
Stolf. Tretton. Oh, there we go. Good, good. Rear delt pump. I gotta check. My short term memory is just, it's nothing to speak of. I have to check, check my program between each set almost, just to be sure I'm doing things correctly. Yes, yeah, I am, yeah. Oh, hello, guys. <laughs> All right, dumbbell, triceps, extensions behind the neck. Working now with what we have here 17.5 17 kilograms. Let's go. Really, I really like this exercise. Oh. See, you later. see you later. It's for 10 reps, by the way. Uh, one. Two. Three. Four. Bim. Six. Sure. Ota. Nie. Hoo. Tie. Hoo. Surely starts setting in. After a little while. <clears throat> oh my god. Oof. Eight. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. So strange how much stronger I am in my right arm, but it hurts more. Like there's almost like a stinging pain right here when I do these. Like here, yeah, I feel like a, it's like almost like it's pressing on something here. And it's been like this for many years, but it's never resulted in any injury or nothing. Even when I'm maxing out, we're going heavy or whatever. So that's a good thing, but uh, you know, I just barely did 10 here on the, on the left arm and I'm left-handed and I do dumbbell all the time on my left arm. But then when it comes to these, this exercise, I feel like I have a stronger tricep here, which is interesting because it's also different with my grip. I feel like I have more of a crushing grip. I have more better strength in crushing things with my right hand than I have better endurance in my left hand. Strange how different it is. It's a, like a different body when you split it in half. But anywho, one more set of these, then just one final exercise, which is lat pull downs. No, sorry, it's three sets of these. So it's two more of these tricep extensions and then lat pull downs. Never free to go and nourish this body. But I gotta. Stop in a store before first. Uh. All right, last exercise of the day. It's a good old lat pull downs. Classic. Twelve reps, three sets. The weight is supposed to be 250 pounds, but we're here in Yagabol and they don't calculate it in pounds. I think I could afford going one plate heavier. Just this machine does not pull the same way in Thor's. It's like rustic, old feeling. It isn't smooth. It's just like, yeah, bumpy along the way. Just, yeah, it's different. So don't think I can apply the same weight in a manner of speaking more 
exertion, exertion levels. Well, yeah, let's keep going. Two more sets of these and I'm gonna go out to the car. Well, the workout session is finished, but uh, seeing me in this light and stuff, you know, I kind of want to check what's beneath, like a lot, a lot of time. Because yeah, you know, I, I started with bodybuilding and uh, it's something I'm always interested in. And yeah, so it's fun to take a look, you know, cause yeah, I find it fun, <laughs> it's uh, easy. Especially in this lighting, because I've been training here for a while, and it's, yeah, it's fun seeing the difference in the composition of the body, but obviously these shorts are so tight that everything around here jiggles, but, you know, whatever, I'm still happy with how I'm looking. Good pump. Well, I'll see you guys in the car. Super success, success, successful training session. Whoa, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. <laughs> um, yeah, happy with that. How don't, yeah, I, I, I made my goal 140 kilograms for Five reps in the close grip bench. Oof, whoa. So, Mr. Sonny, you certainly are doing your job today, sir. Um, yeah, 140 kilograms for five reps. There was a six in there if I would have grinded it up, but you know, my coach specifically said that I was not supposed to grind, but I could have done it. You know, uh, no. But I guess it's always good to have a little bit more in the tank. You know, it's just, I find it interesting to see where do we go from here? Where do we go? Because, you know, I said before, I think that, you know, the most bench I've benched <laughs> is 150 kilograms for two reps, I think. Or was it three or two? I'm not sure. And uh, that was just a normal bench but I think generally like people think of the, that a, the close grip bench is a little bit more difficult than a normal wide grip bench but since I'm like having more um, having more results and improvements in the close grip than the wide could I really say that could I just say now it's a bench PR instead of always saying it's a close grip bench PR or PB whatever you want to say I'm not sure but yeah, I'm going out to, well, am I going to publish this video tonight or tomorrow? Probably tonight. I like that. So I just got to make sure my girlfriend doesn't watch it. <laughs> it's, um, I'm going to go to the store and buy a little bit of, because tomorrow it's Icelandic Women's Day. And, you know, you got to show gratitude for your woman. My girl likes surprises. That's her love language, like to show that you care. It doesn't necessarily have to be gifts, 
but I want to do this for her um, to show my gratitude for being there in my life. I'm about to get sentimental here, I'm about to cry. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, what goes comes next in the bench? You know, I'm gonna be, am I gonna be doing 150 kilograms for you know the similar amount of reps or? Yeah, it's exciting times. As soon as I'll be wrapping 160 for more than one with a good form, then I'm gonna be like ecstatic because that's, you know, clear, clear process, pro progress. But also push press, feeling good. My coach doesn't want me to jump back. That's what, like, because he, he does it and he says that he's paying the price for it now because when he's getting to the big weights, if you jump back and it goes a little bit forward instead of straight up, you know, it's gonna, start going down and make the lift even more difficult. So he want, doesn't want me to keep doing that, trying to not, try to focus on not jumping back. But yeah, <clears throat> nutrition coach, yeah, changed my calories to 7,200. Like I'm gonna have to start doing that tomorrow or tonight. Keep eating and eating and eating and eating. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'll call it that right there. I'm a little spent. Looking forward to getting home and eating more. But I'm really looking forward to the Arnold Strongman Classic. I gotta say, you know, what are your predictions? Are there any of the, the people who watch my videos and who, or who comment or don't comment, you know, whatever's your thing, do you have any predictions? Like, who do you think is gonna win? And not just based on who's your favorite athlete or or what, you know, just scientifically fact-proven majimbo-jumbo, who is the most likely based on the events and capabilities. I have a hard, hard time with this. And I feel like we've been saying this for a while now because we've been having so many, like, world's strongest men and in many competitions that it's getting you know harder and harder to predict but after the contest I'm just like why didn't I see this from a million miles away that this was gonna be the results um, because then you've already seen it you know hindsight is a incredible thing <laughs> but uh, I want to say Hafthor because like, he's my favorite like I know women but Mitch just so consistent and as well as, especially if he puts everything into it, even when he's not like super serious, he still comes very, very high, usually. <laughs> like high off the weed, man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but you know, and then Martins, I think Alexi's getting overlooked, but maybe not based on the events and uh, yeah. Who, and Tom. Tom, you know, his actual press has been looking good and deadlifts are strong and yeah, hard, hard to predict. I'm going to put my money on Hafthor because of his experience. I feel like he knows the events and knows things. I'm maybe uh, not going off the medical mumbo scientific uh, analysis and data reconfiguration and stuff here, but uh, I don't know, I want to say, you know, he's going to, I think he's going to surprise people. I think so. Turn on the flash with my sweaty buttocks. <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you, I sincerely hope you get closer to your goals and yeah, have a great week and enjoy your time on this planet. Because <laughs> after all, what else is there to do but have a good life? <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy your day.